Today I'll be showing you what's in my camera bag in 2022. So let me show you my camera backpack. It's the runner from Brevity, who's actually sponsoring today's video. And I thought this was very fitting because this is the backpack that I've been using for a lot of my trips. I have my camera gear in here. I have my personal items. I really love their backpacks, especially for photographers. They're super practical. They're waterproof. Uh, they're, it's easily accessible to get anything. Like if you want to access your, your camera, they have like the side pocket here right there i have my another camera in there which i'll get to they have like all these hidden pockets i just i love it when they contacted me they were like can we work with you i was like i've been i've been buying your backpacks my number one thing about a camera backpack too is it doesn't look like a camera backpack it just it doesn't give off like hey um my camera body is worth like a house mortgage i also take my laptop with me when i travel and there's a sleeve in here in the back for a laptop. This is a 15 inch MacBook Pro. So literally slides in there. I don't even do anything in it. And it just, just falls in there beautifully. If I don't want to take camera gear, I can just take out the dividers. There's removable, removable dividers. Um, I'll open this in a second. And you can see, and you can see like my camera gears everywhere. But you can see up here, there's a divider that you can just remove. These backpacks have a lifetime warranty and 5,000 plus five star reviews. So a lot of happy people using these backpacks, and I'm one of them. You guys will love this backpack. So check it out. I will have a link in the description. Thank you so much, Brevity, for sponsoring today's video. And on the side, I have this little water bottle it's like a it keeps it's insulated i think that's the word so it will keep the temperature of the water so i definitely always carry one of these with me when i'm doing a photo shoot you know i get i gotta stay hydrated in this top pocket i have just a few makeup items that i i had a photo shoot yesterday so i had like an eyeshadow brush a little lipstick eyeliner it's good to have small items like lipstick changes if you're work if you're working without a makeup artist. That's also that's that's the life. You gotta be the makeup artist. So in this little pocket, I have a small notebook with a pen. I always have a pen with me, especially if you're traveling. You will need a pen at some point. You ever have to fill out forms, and they're like, okay, fill out this 12-page scantron, and you you're the only one without a pen, and you gotta kind of. Make eye, try to make eye contact with someone who has a pen. It's awkward, so I avoid all social interaction and I simply bring my own pen. And it saved me a lot of time. I keep that notebook for ideas if I wanna write down anything super quick. I also have, I had a mask. I have a baby deodorant. I don't know why I'm showing you guys this. You're probably here for the camera gear, but life of a, life of a photographer, huh? right? I also have hand sanitizer, just something quick to spray. And then, God, I don't know how many times this has come in handy, but I do have a nail file. Honestly, like you will need a nail file more than you know, because my nails have cracked in plain and I just can't be sitting there with a jagged nail and it's catching onto things. It would drive me crazy, so I always have a nail file. You guys, I swear, the, if this is an accurate representation of my life, this it is. And then it opens up to the main pocket where you can have all your camera gear and you have the dividers, which are removable. It's, I, I hate dealing with dividers because I just never know where to place them. You know people who have the super organized, structured backpacks? That's not me. So I've been shooting a medium format film and I've been using the Mamiya 6. I absolutely love this camera. It's been really tricky to figure out, but I think I'm at a place where I know how to use it and I've been developing the film. So I've been taking this with me and I do have an extra lens for it. So the lens on this camera is 75 millimeter and then I have 50 millimeter lens. So what I'll do is I'll put my medium format film camera in this top pocket and I'm good to go. And then I just close it. And then I have, I usually keep my DSLR in the bottom, like the main pocket. So that's just, that's just how I do it. Another thing I take with me, especially when traveling is my external hard drive with a padded cover over it. You can find these online. I would definitely recommend it. Do not travel with just your hard drive. Don't just throw it in your bag. Always have a cover. You gotta treat this hard drive like a thousand babies with, with the utmost care, okay? One little, I don't know, one little fingernail goes in to, it's over, it's over. You don't even apply, don't even look at it. Don't even look at your hard drive, okay? God forbid something happens. 
Oh, you put, we put way too much trust in that for some reason. I have gel tears. Well, I don't really need that because I just cry on command. I mean, I don't, not on a command, but just naturally. I don't need help with that. But sometimes my eyes get dry because I'm, I, I wear glasses, I have contacts, and you know, I gotta see stuff to take the pictures. So here we are. I have napkins in here. You never know when, you know, you gotta blow your nose, do a little, one of these, wipe away the tears because your hard drive stopped working. It's happened to me, it's happened. Leave a comment if you can relate. I have a sleep mask for the plane rides where the person next to me wants to open the window and introduce a, a beam of a thousand suns into my eyeballs while we're supposed to be asleep on the plane and the lights are off. You know when you're walking from the bathroom you see that one row with, where it's like just sunlight but everything else is pitch black, like that's the situation. You need one of these. You just need to say a prayer for them, you slip one of these on, look them dead in the eyes, and you just wanna do, like really slowly do one of these and just keep eye contact as you're slowly lowering this. Still, my eyes are still open. You still just wanna do one of those and just let them know, you made me do this. Have I changed my camera setup since the last four or five videos? Absolutely not. I'm never gonna change. <laughs> But I'm basically using still the 5D Mark IV and my 24 to 70 lens. I always take this with me when I'm traveling, when I'm doing photo shoots. This is my go-to setup. Although I do like to take a second lens with me and that would be the 50 1.4 lens. This comes with me if I wanna switch out anything. It's a prime lens, so I get a little bit of flexibility. I could do either a zoom, I could do a prime. As far as the 50 lens goes, I get a lot of questions. Should I buy the 1.2 or 1.4? I'll tell you 1.4. It's a lot more lightweight, it's a lot more affordable, and the quality is still beautiful on this lens. For all my BTS videos, I use the Rode Go. I believe that's the name and this is for the sound. I have a lavalier mic for when I film my videos. So if you're wondering how I shoot my BTS, get the sound for it, it's this. It's super easy to use this system. So I take this with me everywhere. It's always in my camera bag. The newest thing that I've been taking with me on all my portrait shoots is the Profoto A1 flash. I never thought I would be shooting outside with flash. But here we are. I tried this out in Australia and I absolutely loved how the pictures turned out. I never thought to you I did think I didn't want to try to use it because I was like, no, I'm a natural light shooter. But I actually really like mixing this flash with natural light. It gives it a really cool look. So I've been taking it with me for all my photo shoots and kind of incorporating it into uh, my pictures. And I really like the look. Lastly, I have my point and shoot film camera. This is the Canon AF35M. I actually bought this at a thrift shop when I was in Paris. It was about five euros and it's listed for much more online. So I had not, and I, the thing is I didn't even know about this type of camera. My friend actually told me to buy it. She's like, maybe just try it out. So I just bought it and I've been using it for a lot of just quick photos. Super cute, it has a, a flash that I like using and I like the quality of the photos. 35 millimeter, it's easy, it's fun for travel. So this definitely comes with me in my backpack. I've been taking this tripod with me and I actually just secure it using this little, I don't know if this is the, what you use for it, but that's what I've been using. So I kind of just put this little strap through that first hole and then I just secure it to my backpack. That's not, that's not looking good. Okay, but it's it looks better off camera. I do it, I'm under pressure now, I can't do it. <laughs> Something like that. But I basically take this with me everywhere and if I have someone shooting a behind the scenes for me, they hold the, they have the camera here and then they hold it like this. Or if I'm shooting a video, I just do one of these, open it up and then it can just sit as a tripod and I can have my camera on it. So it's a good, just, it's great for vlogging too, so this is a good option if you're looking for it. It's called SwitchPod, so I take this with me when I'm traveling. I would recommend taking a charger with you and extra batteries. You definitely want the charger with you too. It's not enough to have the batteries because sometimes you think you charged it but you didn't and then you get to the photo shoot and the camera dies and you're just, you both kind of look at each other like, something went wrong, absolutely. So you, do, I don't care if you're in the middle of the Sahara Desert and you, you take the charger with you. Maybe you'll find an outlet somewhere. Little things like card readers and 
what like wires random wires I don't even know what this is I don't know what this is but it's here I almost forgot to talk about this yo this changed my life literally me every two minutes this changed my life I'm gonna say you need this because I def I needed this 17 photo shoots ago I actually had a hair stuck in my I didn't even know if it was in my lens or if it was in my camera in the mirror I tried to clean it so many times and every time I took a picture there was a mark on my in on my photos so I went through my camera and use this lens pen and kind of like dusted the mirror I was like taking pictures and dusting it. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that but a hair I saw a hair come out like a fiber come out this this got it this got it and now we are um, I don't have to edit out the mark in my pictures anymore so definitely would recommend a lens pen take this with you that's pretty much all I got in there I mean trust me there will be snacks and chips and stuff in there but this is not that kind of video I already showed you I had some Kleenex in there, so I feel like we're balanced, right? <laughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my camera bag, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!